Hi Vogue, Shania Twain here, and today I'm going to be looking through so many of my iconic images over the years. I'm expecting to be surprised because I've probably forgotten about some of them. Okay, wow, this may have been the first time I was on Jay Leno. I'm a little surprised that I did wear this on national television, but it was all about comfort, and so these are my personal jeans and my personal vest and my personal tank top that I cropped myself with the scissors and just like tucked it under. You know, I had really tiny hips and big athletic legs, so it was hard to fit jeans. So this was one pair that fit me comfortably and it was like my go-to pair. Ah, well, a big award night. I do remember winning Favorite New Country Artist AMA night. I was surprised and pleasantly surprised and very giddy about it. Stretch, patent, pleather. So that's really key. I think it's very flattering for a curvy body. And in the video, if you're not in it for love, I'm out of here. I did backflips in these exact pants. Okay, awesomeness, awesome uh, leopard print. I love this jacket. In fact, I don't know where this jacket is anymore. I'd like to get, find it. I was getting into the velvet fabrics and the plushes and leopard print was just beginning for me. <laughs> so this is cool. I love this. Why now? I'm loving the plush stretch velvets. It's leopard print. Surprise. <laughs> And I just love the uh, the arms, the armband thing. This was my idea. I look so happy in this photo too. I'm a happy girl here. Oh, 1998 Jingle Ball. Wow, that's a big audience. That's massive. I'm in faux stretch pleather and stretch velvet leopard print. <laughs> I love it. Well, for better or for worse, I really latched on to the leopard print and it was just a favorite. So I always gravitated toward that. Oh, okay. 1998 Divas Live. I will tell you a story about this. So I'm very self-conscious at this point about my legs. It was an open slip right up almost to the hip and I just couldn't wear it like that. I was too self-conscious. So I tacked the slit open and I think it looks kind of cool, looks deliberate. I do, I do tend to take things into my own hands, make sure I'm comfortable. So when I work with designers, they have to be open to that. Oh, what fantastic memories. I'm sandwiched between Kara King and Celine Dion, first of all. Mariah Carey was there, Gloria Estefan was there, and Aretha, of course, in the center of it all. All, all of these women, my heroes. I just can't believe that I'm up here with all these women. Just a real honor. I wish I could revisit that same night over again. It, it didn't last long enough. Oh, yes, this does take me back. 1998. I would have been really seriously overworked at this point. <laughs> That's what I was probably thinking. I'm thinking this is so wonderful, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to stay for the after party. The sheer veil drape at the back, high neck. It is just a very similar dress to the one that I wore in the From This Moment On video. I think it might be the dress. And that song surprisingly became a huge wedding song. It wasn't, I, I didn't know at this point that it was going to be Great Association by Fluke. Great party at this point. <laughs> ah, yes, of course, we are now back to uh, leopard print, stretch, plush. This is from that Don't Impress Me Much video. And it's the first time that I'm into the hooded thing. This was Mark Bauer's idea. Very glamorous. I knew when I saw it, I'm like, are you kidding? I mean, this is gorgeous. It's, it's just a very iconic look. Oh, and I camped out the night before in the desert on the location because the drive was so long the next morning. I just thought I'm gonna be too tired. I'm just gonna camp out. And I wanna talk about the luggage because this prop, this suitcase. All right, so here I am. I'm looking for the perfect guy and he's just not coming along. No matter how amazing and impressive he is, it's just, he's not the guy. There was nothing in the luggage and it's very, Ironic, in fact, because I think I had everything I needed right there. You had a lot of leopard. A lot of leopard. Okay. 
Oh, yeah. All right, well, Grammys, that's always a great night, right? That's always a wonderful moment, very much in the Audrey Hepburn vein. This is where I really start getting, I guess, excited about being shiny and glitzy. Country music artists, when I was a kid, were always, like, really glitzy and shiny. And I thought, well, I don't, you know, I want to be more sober than that in my style, but, oh, no. Once I got into sequins, that was it. I never turned back. Now I've got an archive room that I keep most of my awards in, but my son convinced me to put one up where we can all see it. He's proud of it. Wow. Cool. All right, boy, do I have stories about Man I Feel Like a Woman outfit. This is when I performed at the Grammy Awards. I decided that I would take the exact video costume outfit and wear it live on stage. The boots were killing me. They were so tight on my calves that the circulation was cutting off in my legs. But I had so much fun performing in this. This is a good example of if you're dressed for the occasion, you're more in the spirit of it. You know, you, you put a robe on, you want to make a cup of tea or have a glass of wine. And when you put on bustier and meshing short skirt and thigh high boots, you want to rock out to men. I feel like a woman. Okay, 1999 Country Music Awards. So come on over. I'm in what was later written as Pepto Bismol Pink. And I'm like, yeah, so what's wrong with that pink? It's a great pink. I think it's more like a melon pink, myself personally. And I went for the whole country vibe. I love this look. And I, you know, I was comfortable. I had a great, I had a great performance. Woo, lady in action here. 2003 Super Bowl. Very, very big moment for me. This was an epic experience. And it was another take on Man I Feel Like a Woman look. It was more of an edgy rock performance look. Well, the album up was, I was in more of a playful period. You know, I was approaching 40 and I wanted to be sure that I didn't get mumsy after having a baby. This is definitely not a mumsy look. <laughs> no, no, I think it wasn't that I was trying to make a statement about it, but it was more for myself. It was more that I'm, well, I feel good in, um, in my own skin and free spirited about, about my body and about stepping out with confidence. Oh, yes. I loved this night. I hosted the Juno Awards. I think this was one of my favorite nights of costume wearing. I didn't just wear the Canadian teams, did I? I have to reflect on that. Toronto Maple Leafs, Edmonton Oilers, Montreal, Quebec. Yeah, maybe I think it was all Canadian teams. Where are these outfits? Ugh, I'm starting to stress looking through this, looking back at all these incredible looks, and I don't know where half of them are. I'm, you know, I want them back. To be honest, I didn't realize the value in the moment of these looks and that they would still, you know, that they would still matter 20, 25 years later. Mark Bauer made all the costumes. I, I don't know where they are. I wonder, I wonder if he's got a secret stash now. He's got a trunk somewhere of Shania. Things. Up World Tour, I bounced around and had a really great time up and down stairs and jumping and feeling very young and energetic because I was doing a lot of outdoor shows. When it was hot and humid, I was dying in anything that was clinging without breathing. So I got into this sweat guard fabric and was loving it. So that was a real awakening for me. Um, so this is more, this is where the athletic wear direction came into play. Woo, hot mama. This is 2012 Las Vegas show. <laughs> I love this. Okay, I love a great bodysuit, first of all. I'm gonna get you good. The video was a lace, a black lace bodysuit, stretch lace bodysuit. I wanted to reflect the video, not really Catwoman, but Catwoman, Combat Woman esque, you know, superhero, dark and sexy, strong, with the Vegas glam, so hence all the beadwork. Okay, wow. <laughs> Back in Leopard, surprise, again. This is 2017 on the James Corden Show. I'm feeling very um, celebratory during this phase and very fitting to be back in leopard print. And I even love the fact that this is a pantsuit because there is a strength to that that I really 
enjoyed wearing for some reason. It was something about the pantsuit. It was stretch, of course, stretch fabric. So yeah, I'm back with now and still in leopard print and just feeling like I'm own taking ownership of a lot of things. And the print represents quite poetically where I was making that album and resonates through the, the fashion too, not just the music. Very interesting. Woo! Okay. <laughs> 2017, no, 2019 AMAs. This is like so recent and I am loud and confident and bright. I love this moment. I want it to shine. I wanted it to be sexy but strong. I love the contrast of the orange and the pink. I had given Mark the direction. He sent me this fabulous pink fabric that I'm like, yes, of course, that's it. I wanted to reference strength, femininity, sensuality, and inclusion. So all the fashion in, in this performance, I think, was definitely a reference of all of that. And I had a lot of fun in this look. Vogue, thank you so much for taking me back. This has been awesome. See you next time.